A musical prodigy as a child, he is now an internationally acclaimed virtuoso with many awards under his belt. He is also a peacemaker who treads his own path, unifying the sounds of the East and the West in his music. We're delighted to have Omar Farouk Tikbilek in the studio with us. Hello and welcome. Thank you. Uh, you say yourself, as a child, your mother encouraged you to go outside and play like the other kids, and your musical journey started very, very early on. Can you tell us about how it began? Yeah, I was uh, inspired with my two brothers, actually. I had two older brothers than me. They were playing music, so I was in love with the sound of the uh, neigh. Yeah. Actually, it was a little uh, Turkish kaval it, with the mouthpiece, so I cut the top of it, make it like a neigh because it's an open hello tube. So I, I, I remember I blow two months to get the sound out of it. Oh, wow. But also I was playing balama at the same time mm -hmm. to learn the scales, to get my ear get used to. That's how I started. I was very lucky. Right. Yeah. Well, the ney is such a special instrument. It's almost 5,000 years old, and it's probably the o oldest instrument still in use. Can you tell us about the ney? Yeah, the Mevlana Jalaleddin Rumi uh, said it the perfectly. He likened the Ney uh, as a human being, because God right. created Adam. Uh, he he cleaned inside and he blowed. We have we also have seven holes in our head, which is functions uh, yeah. the, our identity. So then he blow his breath, make the sound. So just like the Ney is talking from the separation, from the root. Mm -hmm. yearning to, to, to go to the, his root. So it's when we use the breath, uh, Nabik makes the sound, reminds us actually, that's how I found as a uh, Nay player, my voice tells me about my breath, and then my breath tells me about the inner voice that I have inside. So the inner voice, use the breath, becomes a voice. Sesim, nefesim, içimdeki sesim, in Turkish way. <laughs> so that's the talking about the breath, the connection with, with the divine. So Ney uses the breath and talks about the, where it belongs to. Where we actually where we are, Where we are come and we are going. Could you give us a little something of this wonderful well, instrument? So I have one with me. Mm -hmm. This is a normally used. The, the originality of the Ney, actually, I should tell, the, the, it's not an ordinary bamboo. It has to be a nine section. So because they tried less, but it loses the capacity of the having two, three more notes. So with the nine, they opened only the one, the first one, and then cleaned the other ones. So it becomes almost three octave sound. Three octave yeah, sounds yeah. from that instrument, wow. Mm Definitely yeah. a peaceful sound. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. I mean, nice. um, even though you're so internationally acclaimed, you say you have an amateur spirit and you just feel happy and grateful to be on stage. How do you remain so um, grateful and happy and humble? What's your secret? 
Well, actually, it is simple. Like you said, I, I start very early. I found that it is the state of mind is the same as I pray. Because when my mother came inside and show, saw me, I was just lost myself in that hot summer day. She was telling me, go outside, what are you doing? Over? I said, oh, I'm happy. So in that moment, I realized that I was so deeply in me, I forgot outside. So which was the same when we pray. I said, when we pray, what we do? We block outside in front of God, but actually in front right. of our loneliness. We are experiencing ourselves. So I thought, wow, it's the same state of mind. Right. So then from then, but for me, I, don't, I am not generalizing. Maybe it's not for the other people. I don't give a general thing, but for my personal uh, feeling is like that. It's a, so it doesn't matter where I am. I am in the same state of mind. So I am going inside. Just there is no, because when you pray, you don't prove nothing. You are experiencing right. your, your whatever you are. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's the same attitude. It's, it's simple. Right. Well, uh, you're in, um, you live in America and you're here for a concert for Ramadan. What else are you up to these days? Well, actually, I was just in Greece. We had a wonderful three concerts. Mm -hmm. And now I came here. Then I am going back to, we have a every year happening uh, Middle Eastern music camp happening in Mendocino, California. Oh. This year is the 27th year, but it's a wonderful camp because oh, it's like I say, Middle Eastern, but it starts Greek, Turks, uh, Iranian, the Lebanese, uh, Israelis, uh, Moroccans, all around the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. The musicians and dancers, they come over there. We teach all day long and then we celebrate our common humanness. Just like old time in the Alexandria, that's what right. I always say that because music and dance, we experience ourselves soul to soul. The, the shell of body disappears. Right. We are a human being. So that's what is going to happen. I am very excited. Right. That's a yeah. wonderful note to yeah. finish on. And my father, thank you for joining us. Oh, I, my, I appreciate Thank you very much.